Moses. You remember Humphrey? Humphrey? We thought he was dead. Are you sure he ain't? <laughs> Just weary. He's been searching for his bride ever since they became separated at the wedding reception. I, I accidentally locked myself in the wine cellar. Here, old soldier, this will brace you up. Where's Marie? She's in the bar getting proposed to. She's where? <laughs> Marie! It's your husband, Humphrey. <laughs> Know how long I've been tracking you down? Do you have a message for me? Piers, there's a big to-do in your honor at the Taj Mahal. Expecting a couple of thousand guests, the way I hear it. Oh, fiddle-faddle, I know all that. It's next week. No, it ain't. It's been moved up to today, 11 o'clock. Oh, how dreadful. All those people expecting me, and here I am, sitting with a baby. Well, appears to me you got plenty of babysitters. Pick any one of them toys, Put a spell on it, and you got yourself a sitter. Of course. You're absolutely right. Thank you for an excellent suggestion. Don't thank me. Just leave a forward address next time. Gee, Gus, what's the matter with him? Has he got some kind of horse disease? No, he's not sick. Then why is he lying down? Uh, well, I, I don't know why he's lying down, but I'll tell you something. I never saw a horse that wanted to lie down that didn't lie down. Well, gee, Gus, will he ever get up? Oh, he'll get up all right when he wants to, but he'll lie down again. Oh? Gee, Gus, how come he wants to lie down? All I ever saw before was standing up horses. Well, I'll tell you, Beaver, most horses don't know any better than to stand up all the time. But? Once in a while, a horse gets old enough and smart enough to realize that lying down is a heck of a lot better than standing on your feet all day long. 